Hi, one RP versus Bus, the first fight of the season, and luck was not in our favor. Bus, even though it is not a top alliance, was still a big threat to us. Even though their power oscillates around ours, considering the individual members of the alliance, they had a significant advantage. They unlocked Tier 5, more active players. This is a big inconvenience. Ultimately, we met on the battlefield with a score of 45 to 63. Yes, they had the numerical advantage. However, additional modifiers have been added this season. By taking over a specific combination of buildings, you can get various bonuses, from additional points counted per minute, to increasing basic attack and health. I had all my hopes for this, because our leader took a day off that day, together with our top infantry. It was a very, very hard day. Looking at the bonds between the structures, it was a good idea to take both the warrior and mother towers with the first shot. Outpost would be an additional reinforcement. In total you can get 25 basic attack and 70% healing speed, not counting the bonuses for the buildings themselves. As you can see, I'm still in weakness synergy, and this is not going to change anytime soon, because in my opinion this is the most destructive option. After several attacks against me, Buzz withdrew from this idea. Apparently they found a better target. But before they gave up, they sent a missile against me. Synergy of weakness against synergy of weakness. However, each of us has a slightly different approach to it. While I'm slowly working towards a mix of weakness synergy and famel synergy, the opponent has chosen to increase the strength of the pure spear. This has advantages and disadvantages. His biggest drawback is Goral, whose awakening ability stops working when attacks turn into weak spot attacks. However, both of us, probably due to lack of other options, double the treatment, having Drake and Arslan, who is much worse in comparison. His stats pale in comparison to mine, until we look at the Spearman's additional basic attack. This value made me salivate, but eventually I will reach this level myself. He's a tough guy, I must admit. Ports are currently doubly valuable buildings. Controlling a port gives you a lot of points, and by bonding a port, outpost, and stronghold of the same house, you can gain an additional 120 points per minute. You cannot ignore this value. On the one hand, the port was retaken. On the other hand, even though a week has passed, I have no idea what the author had in mind. I bet he wrote about castling in the wrong chat room and some joker replied. We tried to save the situation, but it didn't work out at all. This bought us a few seconds to reorganize the squad. Too bad it's at the opponents. Fortunately for our result, when the protective bubble collapsed, the current tenant was quickly pacified. I would have called all hands on deck. Unfortunately, my hands were occupied in other buildings. That's the beauty of the 3 million army limit. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can get additional points per minute for controlling three buildings of the same family. But first you need to control these buildings. I wasn't particularly happy with this result, especially considering the number of armies sent by us. There was a severe reprimand for this. Still the most profitable building is the main building that is being fought over, Casterly Rock. However, what happened here exceeded my expectations about the Allies. Good job. Even though you are gaining more and more advantage, it is worth having a reserve of points. And, of course, fight for the biggest prize, received for 80,000 points. Another successful takeover. Mines, even though their value has decreased in the last update, obtaining them can still significantly change the final result. This time I managed to take over both, which slightly introduced dissonance in my feelings. Where to send the dragon? After some quick consideration, I decided that the Lannister mine would be under more fire. It is definitely closer to the enemy, so raids will be directed from there within a dozen or so seconds. Strategic decision. Thank you for today, and I invite you to the after party.
Looking at my opponent before the fight, I expected much greater resistance. This is probably due to the fact that the first match of the season is a bit calmer in the elite. There is no special rush to win, because a careless move may result in unnecessary promotion to the Super League, which not all alliances can afford. However, despite this, I am also positively surprised by the performance of my alliance. Despite small mistakes that cannot always be avoided, we managed to win against a theoretically stronger opponent and receive the highest prize. Years of practice are taking their toll, and this season can be considered open with a good result. The plans for this season are a little more ambitious than ever, as I am personally personally pushing our allies to make it to the playoffs. After all, we are not weak players, and I have the impression that we can take a piece of this cake there too. The first match is behind us. If you want to follow our struggles in the 18th season of Alliance Conquest, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for today. See you soon.